Hey everyone and welcome back to Online Tech Tips. In today's video, I'm going to tackle a super simple but often overlooked tech tip, how to reboot your Wi-Fi router. Whether you're working from home, streaming your favorite shows, or in the middle of an online class, having a reliable internet connection is a must. And guess what? Your router plays a huge role in making that happen. So let's look into why and how to reboot your Wi-Fi router to keep things running smoothly. First, let's talk about why rebooting your router is so important. Think of your router as the traffic controller of your internet. It connects all your devices, manages data flow, and keeps everything running smoothly. But just like any device, routers can run into problems over time. So here are some common issues that rebooting can fix. Slow internet speeds, random connectivity drops, and network congestion. When you reboot your router, it clears the cache, refreshes the firmware, and even helps cool down the hardware. It's like giving your router a quick power nap to recharge. So, how do you reboot your router? It's actually super easy, so here's a quick step-by-step -step guide. First, you have to find your router. It's usually plugged into a power outlet and maybe combined with a modem, or it could be separate units. Unplug the power cable. If your router has a power button, you can use that instead. Just make sure not to hit the reset button. That's for something else entirely. After disconnecting the power, wait for 30 seconds. This gives the router time to power down and clear its memory. Plug it back in, reconnect the power cable, and turn it back on. Now you have to wait for it to reboot. This could take a couple of minutes while the router reconnects to the internet. And that's it. Your router should now be up and running, and your internet performance should improve. Now, let's clear up a little bit of confusion. Restarting your router and resetting it are two different things. Restarting or rebooting simply power cycles the device without changing any settings. Resetting, on the other hand, wipes everything and restores factory settings. So unless you want to reconfigure your entire network, stick to restarting. But how often should you reboot your router? I think a good rule of thumb is at least once a month. But if you've got heavy internet usage or multiple connected devices, you might want to reboot more often. Some modern routers even let you schedule automatic reboots, which can be super handy. But what if your router is tucked away in some hard to reach spot? Well, that's not a problem. Many routers let you reboot them remotely using a web browser or a mobile app. So in a web browser, all you have to do is log into your router's admin panel by typing its IP address, like 192.168.1.1. This varies from router and it should be on a sticker on the bottom of a router or in the manual. You can also use a mobile app. Download the app for your router's brand, like Netgear or TP-Link, log in, navigate to the settings and hit the reboot button. These options are perfect for quick reboots without having to physically access your router. Before I wrap up, here are a few things to keep in mind. You should save any online work before rebooting, since your internet will disconnect temporarily. Check all your cable connections to make sure nothing is loose. Remember, rebooting is a simple fix for minor issues. For persistent problems, you need to contact your service provider or consider upgrading your router if it's an issue with that model. And there you have it. Rebooting your Wi-Fi router is an easy way to keep your internet running smoothly. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Online Tech Tips for more awesome tech tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.